In this film, the male stickleback is starting to build a nest made from black cotton threads. In the wild, he might use small pieces of pondweed or algae. Before adding threads to the nest, male sticklebacks often spend a long time testing the suitability of potential nest building materials. Here you can see the male stickleback picking up individual threads and letting them go to see whether they float or sink. Why do you think he might do this? Once the male has selected a thread, he swims with it to the nest and pushes it into the sand with his snout. He repeats this over and over again until the nest starts to take form. Male sticklebacks produce a type of glue in their bodies that is released from an opening at the back end of the fish in a nesting behaviour known as a gluing. In this film clip you can see a male stickleback performing gluing behaviour. The glue is released as he glides over the nesting material. This behaviour is a sure sign that the male is starting to build his nest. After gluing, the male adds more material to the nest, using his snout to push the material into the trail of glue that he has just laid down. Why do you think the male sticklebacks use glue in their nests? The male is adding more nesting threads now and he's pushing them into his nest with his snout. The male works really hard to make sure that the loose ends are tidied up and that the threads are pushed hard into the sand. Why do you think it might be so important to do this? Sometimes the male pushes his snout deep into the nest and pumps sand up through his mouth and back on top of the nest. The male then starts to vigorously fan the nest with his pectoral fins. This is a behaviour he will use during courtship and also when he has eggs in the nest. Nest building continues for several hours, during which time males continue to glue and add more materials to the nest. Eventually the nest is finished and the male performs a zigzag dance to attract the female which is the brown fish at the top of the screen. During courtship the male also shows off to the female by fanning the nest and performing gluing behaviour. Why do you think he might do this? If the female is ready to lay her eggs, then the male gently pricks the female under her chin with his spines. It's quite a quick behaviour, so let's see that again. If she likes the male, then she may follow him to the nest. The male continues to court the female, performing his zigzag dance with increased vigour, and sometimes he bumps into the female as he does so. He alternates the zigzag dance with frequent visits to the nest, fanning and gluing. At the end of each courtship bout, the male attempts to show the female the entrance to the nest. Eventually, if the female is attracted to the male, then she will follow him to the nest entrance and push her way in. Once the female is completely inside the nest, the male begins to tap vigorously on the female's sides to stimulate her into egg laying.
The male continues to stimulate the female into laying all of her eggs until finally the whole clutch is deposited in the nest. Once all the eggs have been released, the female then swims off and the male pushes through the nest, fertilising the eggs as he does so. The male then chases the female away and his long period of parental care begins.